Hello quilt artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. So this video is going to be about finding my Christmas spirit. I did a video a little, a few days, I don't know, maybe five days ago or something like that about um, just not really feeling, you know, the spirit of Christmas, right? And um, and I talked about, you know, trying to want to, you know, wanting to get some of that back, wanting to kind of recapture some of that and and and, and have some of that back. Um, cause it's been a while, you know, and I thought, I thought that it was the pandemic at first, right? I thought it was like, cause you know, the pandemic made everything bad. We couldn't visit with our relatives and things like that. Um, and then I'm working from home now. And I thought maybe, you know, just because I'm working from home and I don't get to go out in the world every day and interact with people that that could be negatively impacting my spirit of Christmas. Right. And so um, I just decided to just just kind of throw myself into some things that like just to, just to do, just start, just start. And so the first thing that I did was put the tree up, of course, because I hadn't even hadn't even I hadn't even put the tree up when I made that video. Um, so my fiance had taken the tree out and stacked them up. Right. Like he, he put the tree together. It's an artificial tree. I will not do another real tree probably ever again in my life. Um, that's another story, but, um, so he had put the tree up, but it needed to be fluffed and he's a man. He, he can't do that. Fluff all those branches. Right. So I needed to fluff all the branches and then get the lights on so that we could all decorate it. And I just hadn't done it. So that was, that was step one. Uh, step one was I put the lights on the tree that same day I made the video and then we, me and the kids and uh, my fiance, we decorated it the next day. Um, and I've been making it a point to go outside every day. Uh, so I go outside, I try to go somewhere every day. Um, uh, before, you know, my extent of going outside was my, my deck and, uh, the mailbox. And that was about it. So, um, I've been just making an active, um, choice to make sure that I leave my home each day and interact with the world. Um, so I did that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, today. And um, here's, 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 here's what I realized for myself. And I have to really think about this. I've never really been into Christmas. I mean, of course, as a child, you are into Christmas, right? Because you get gifts on that day. So, yeah, you're going to be into any day which you get presents on, right? So, but then when um, I had my first child, my first child was born in 1996. And her father did not celebrate Christmas. He didn't believe in it. He observed Hanukkah. And he wanted me um, to, to do the same. And I was fine with that. I was like, sure. Like, I, I didn't even, I didn't bat an eye. Like, when I think about how difficult that decision would have been for other people, it, it wasn't even a decision for me. It was like, sure, I don't, I don't care. Like, I feel like relationships are compromises. And so if there's something that you really don't care about, then let, let the other person have it. And I really, I, I didn't, it did not pain me in any way, shape or form to give it up. So much so that even when we broke up, I still continued to not celebrate Christmas. I still continued to observe Hanukkah and completely abandon Christmas. It wasn't until my son was born, because I had re I was with someone else. I was I remarried. Well, I was I didn't remarry because I wasn't married. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I married someone else. Um, I was in a new relationship, and we had a son together. My son is born in December. And my son's first birthday, um, so, the, so the year my son was born, we did not celebrate Christmas. Uh, the year uh, 2000, the, the, the next year, because he was born in 2007, 2008, did not celebrate Christmas. And it never, I never was like, oh, let me go get the baby's first Christmas onesie. And I, I had none of that. I had none of that. I was completely fine without acknowledging Christmas at all. 
I, n- I did not feel like I was missing out on anything. I did not feel weird about it. I did not feel left out about it. I, I was fine. <laughs> Didn't It was fine. Um, so when my husband wanted me, because he, he missed that. He's like, you know, I've got this child and I'd like to celebrate Christmas. And I'm like, sure. I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, because I could literally go either way. So he, he asked if we could start celebrating Christmas. And I was like, sure, I, don't, I really don't care. If, it, if it's important to you, let's, let's do it. But then I, I threw myself into it because I had three small children. So at that point, my children would be the first Christmas that I celebrated as an adult. My children would have been two, seven, and 12 or 13, something like that. So the fun ages still, fun ages for Christmas. So as soon as like November hit, I was already looking for the Black Friday sale papers to come out so I could start looking. And I was very, very uh, poor at that particular point in my life. I did not have a lot of disposable income. Um, and when you're paying for daycare, of course, you're, you know, that's oof, expensive. It, that's very expensive here in the United States of America, child care. So uh, disposable income was not something that I had because I was paying for daycare, um, <laughs> full-time full time care for, for my son. So um, I had to find all the deals and sales, and I had to look, and I needed to start early so I could gather. I would have time. I would have enough paychecks to spread this out and enough time to find, you know, the right price gift, right? So that that's kind of how I, how, how I did it. I threw myself into it. Um, and it wasn't really about Christmas. It was about seeing my children's faces when they open their gifts. I'm a, I'm, I'm a person who likes to give gifts. I'm a gift giver. Um, I, that's probably why I do giveaways on my channel. I am, I don't really care about receiving gifts, but I love to give them. It's like my, my love language or one of them. Um, so because my actual love language is words of affirmation, but <laughs> I love to give gifts. I love to give gifts. And so it was an opportunity for me to give gifts to the people that I love and see the joy that that gave them. And the fact that it was Christmas really didn't, it, that was kind of irrelevant. It was about, I mean, yes, we put the tree up and we, you know, did all this, you know, the, the decorating and all. But like, I've never been the type to like decorate the outside of my house. I didn't decorate. I didn't put lights up on the outside of my house until last year. And it was only because it looked like all of my neighbors had put up lights that, that year. And I was like the only dark house. And it was like, ooh, let me just throw some stuff out here. So I threw some stuff out just so that it wouldn't be so, so naked compared to everybody else's house. But um, I've never been a big, you know, I put a tree up, but I've never been a big decorator. I just like the gift aspect of it and going out and shopping for the gifts. Like I didn't mind the traffic and the congestion and the crowds because I was doing something for my kids that was going to bring them joy. And that made me happy. So I don't know so much that it was Christmas. It was it was the fact that I was doing something that was going to bring joy to others but my children are older now and they want expensive things that I'm not going to buy them or, or at least I can't say they, my son, my son has no concept of money or expense. Um, one day he came out his mouth and asked me for a pair of sneakers that cost $250. And I was like, you have lost your mind and you clearly don't know your mother because I would never pay that. I think the most I paid for a pair of shoes for myself, they were in their sneakers. They're not even leather. They're not even leather. Like I think I paid like 150 bucks for a pair of uh, like expensive Italian leather booties, you know, like the boots that they have, you know, they, they don't come all the way up, but they, they come past your ankle. Them, well, yeah. You know, I, I did that once, but I still have them. We're talking about a $250 pair of sneakers that he's going to wear outside in the dirt and rain and, and run and play and they're going to be busted up in two months. Like, no, no way, champ. I make him ask his dad for that stuff because I'm not buying it. 
I'll get you a pair of Air Force Ones for 90 bucks, and that's about the extent of it. So um, anyway, I got distracted. So they want expensive things that I'm not going to buy or um, just, you know, just, I mean, how many pairs of pajamas and socks and slippers can I buy you? Like, I'm just running out of things to, because these are adults now. My daughters are adults. They're 20 and 26. What, 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 am, what am I buying these people? <laughs> so it just isn't as fun anymore, right? But here's what I did. Here's what I, but here's what I did notice. Okay, so after I put the tree up, and, and I also made an attempt to go out every single day since, um, I also made my house smell good. So I bought some candles and some candle warmers, and I made the house smell nice. And I will say my spirit is lifted, but I feel like my spirit is lifted because I changed my routine. I think that's another thing about Christmas that helps it feel different. It feels different because we do different things. We are changing our routine. So the things that we would normally do, we're not doing, we're doing other things and doing those other things. And then also having the tradition of, of stuff to do. I think that makes it feel different. It makes it feel different from a normal day. And that is Christmas spirit. So then why do we have to limit it to Christmas? Anytime you need a boost, anytime you're kind of down in the dumps, any kind you're kind of dragging, change your routine. I, I will honestly say I feel a bit more upbeat, but I don't think it's because it's Christmas. I think it's because I changed my routine and I got out in the world and got some fresh air. So have I found my Christmas spirit? No. Am I happy? Yes. Am I excited to celebrate Christmas with my family? Absolutely. And if that's Christmas spirit, then I guess that's what it is. But it's certainly not the feeling that I felt when my son was three years old and four years old and five years old and my children were little. It's not it's not the same as that. And it probably will never be until maybe one day I'm blessed with grandchildren. Maybe then. But until then, I'm happy with where I'm at. I think from the other video, I think some people might have thought that I was down and I wasn't. It, I just I just felt the absence of what I'm used to feeling at this time. I felt it felt like it didn't feel like a bad day. It just felt like every other day. And I'm used to this time of year feeling different, feeling special. And the reason it feels different and it feels special, like I said, is because we do different things. And when we do those different things, it brings with us the history, the memories of all those other prior years and the times we had, the good times we had. And I feel like that's what, that's what this is all about. So I know somebody suggested baking. No. No, I've, I've already got enough extra meat here. Um, we don't, I don't need cookies. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to add cookies to the mix. <laughs> Although I'm sure they would brighten my day and make the house smell lovely. Um, I probably wouldn't be, if I ate cookies, I probably wouldn't be able to fit in this screen. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next video.